Judy from Rich Peace Craft, welcome. Today's video is all about crochet cotton thread with a little surprise ending. So make sure you watch the video to the end so you can leave a comment and join in my surprise ending. So my week, I worked on this for a full week and I finished it yesterday and I really wanted to do it. A friend asked me to try some crochet cotton thread to make something with it so we could see what it feel like and how hard it was to work with. And I decided I would join a make-along on Ravelry. Soxy Nana Alice is running a make-along at Ravelry during the month of March. I think it's just for March. It's called Head, Shoulders, Fingers and Toes. You make a wearable, whether it's knitted or crocheted. Not sure about sewing, but you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description below to her video. And you, you make it for that and you post your pictures on her Ravelry thread. So I decided I would make a shawl with this cotton thread. It feels really soft and I'm not showing you the label. It felt really soft and I thought, well, I'll make a shawl. It is black. So I decided I would make a shawl, of course, by Bag A Day Crystal the Annabelle shawl. It's been in my favourites for a while and I thought well I'll make that because I wanted to make it easy on myself and this is an easy beginner shawl. Highly recommend it for any beginner who can chain, double crochet and if you want to do a few finishing touches, single crochet. The thing about it is it looks lovely when it's finished. It doesn't look like it's a real beginner shawl. It has a bit of style and class to it. So, I'll show you my shawl, because I have finished it. Ta-da! Here it is, the Annabelle shawl. Now, it is quite lightweight and lacy, which is ideal for the tropics. I did have enough yarn, so I put, because I do like a pico edge on my lacy shawl, so I did a pico edge. And although it wasn't necessary, it was quite a neat top, I can't help myself, I went across the top with a single crochet. Now there will be a picture of it fully spread out at the end of the video for you to check out so you can join in the surprise ending. So that is my first entry for head, shoulders, fingers and toes on Ravelry. I really love it. I think it looks really classy. It is lovely and soft. So I'm not going to show you the label of the crochet thread because that's our surprise ending. It's a bit of guess along and there'll be a $10 pattern prize if you guess the right amounts or closest to the pin. And if there's more than one, well, that's my problem. I'll have to do two $10 pattern prizes. But at the moment, there's one $10 pattern prize. If you can put in the comments below the answer to my questions, and it is open worldwide. Now it doesn't have to be a pattern prize if you don't do patterns. I can do $10 gift vouchers and I'm quite happy to put $10 in a PayPal account if you want to spend it locally. The winner. So there'll be one winner for a $10 pattern prize for the exact amount or closest to the pin as they say. So this is a three-ply cotton thread. It's very soft. Inside this is a cardboard cone. There are 50 grams of yarn per cake, cone, whatever you want to call it. The actual cardboard cone weighs 19 grams, but there is 50 grams of yarn. So, remember that, 50 grams of yarn, three ply. Now, for the shawl, the actual cotton thread recommends a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. But I followed Crystal's advice and I went up a couple of si a size or so. I went to a four millimeter. And I did the actual body of the shawl, um, this bit, in a four millimeter crochet hook. Keep that in mind. The Pico edge, when I did the four millimeter, it didn't work out as nice. So I went down to a 3.5 millimeter for the Pico edge. It just looked a bit nicer. All this is information for our guess along, make along, <laughs> guess along giveaway, gift away. We don't say giveaway, gift away. So what I would like you to do is now 
These cones cost anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars. That is your guide. And they are 50 gram cones, 50 grams of yarn. Yarn. I would like you to put in the comments below your guess. How many grams of yarn? I can't tell you, Mitridge, it didn't have it. How many grams of yarn did I use to make this shawl? I will put the dimensions of the shawl in the description below. And how much was the total cost for me to make this shawl? So there your answers. A, how many grams of yarn did it take to make it? And what is the total cost? Keeping in mind they are 50 gram balls, I used a 4mm crochet hook and the price of them is anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars. Let's see what you come up with. Now whoever guesses right will get a ten dollar voucher or the person as they say closest to the pin. And yes, I want both close, both answers. How many grams and how much did it cost me to make it? And no, Ulia, do not cheat. She knows about this. <laughs> I'm warning you, I'll know if you were checking it out. So, yes, I'm really happy with that. I would use this. It was really, other than it was black, and I used to have, at night when I was working, I had to have the big craft lamp on because it's really hard on my eyes to work with black. It is beautiful cotton thread to work with. And living in the tropics, it is an ideal spring, summer evening dress shawl. I love the pattern. I may not have said it. If I've said it before, highly recommend it for a beginner. How, how does that look like, a beginner shawl? It doesn't pattern. It just, it's so nice. And yes, of course, Crystal's tutorial is so easy to follow. So I've got all my notes in my recipe notebook from Barbara. Some of the special items this year are making the recipe notebook and I really like this one. And my friend thinks it's really beautiful and soft. And yes, she may go ahead and spend a bit of money and make something with this yarn. Now, for a bit of a cheat, it's not an exact number of grams I used. It is so many and a bit of one of these so that's a bit of a cheat to help you with the grams how many grams it's not like 800 i didn't round it it's exact to how many grams of yarn i used and the cost well it's whatever you think crochet cost is worth in australia now don't worry about putting it in australian dollars if you were to put like 30 American dollars, I'd treat that as Australian, if you put 30 pound, I'd just think of that as Australian dollars, so there'd be no conversion, just put what you think it costs in your, in any currency, your currency, Euro, it'll all, all be just quickly swapped to Australian dollars, there'll be no currency changing. So yes, open worldwide, now I am going to close this on the 16th of March which I believe is a Saturday and I'll do a, a bit of a prize draw sometime on the 17th to let you know how I went. I just love it. I really enjoyed making it. I love the way it turned out and um, yeah I thought it'd be nice to have a little gift away and see what you think it cost me and how much yarn it took to make. So until next time stay safe, stay well and try crocheting a shawl in thread and let me know how you go. Bye for now.